there was something I did read <clears throat> late uh, in the uh, in the week here that L.A. Knight it was some L.A. Knight coverage. He was talking about his history in the business, and he said he was rather miserable under Vince McMahon's creative vision. This is uh, going back to, well, I mean, you do remember his early his early gimmicks. He didn't have one character didn't have much to work with here. Uh, this is certainly before he was moving boatloads of merch. His uh, his development contract was actually 2013, it was 10 years, right? We mentioned that. Um, it was released in 2014 and um, first gained popularity as Eli Drake, right? In Impact, established himself as a major star then, there. So he said in an interview on uh, Chris Van Vliet's show, uh, quote, um, I want to get to his WWE quote. Vince McMahon had a vision for this thing that puts such a microscope on it, and I didn't know what the hell it was. Uh, uh, and it just wasn't going well. I was very unhappy, and I'm sure he probably was. And then at some point, it was just like all of a sudden, I'm not on TV. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. I'm pretty sure this whole run is over. I bring this up, not so much to cover him, but to ask you, um, Later on, WCW, you were big contract players and you became Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. You didn't have to worry about this. But when they walk in and say you're Oz or you're anything, you're, you're whoever, when you had character-based programming like we're talking here, what say do you have? Are they soliciting advice from you? Are they no. like, are you feeling this? Before they send you out, like it could be your one shot, right? And it falls. Well, it's flat. like Scott when Scott went to New York and sat down with Vince. Vince had him like it was going to be like a Marine, like an Army guy, mm. you know. And, and he was like, "You ever seen Scarface?" And then he went he went into the fucking shtick. He said, "I'm thinking about doing this," and fucking Vince says, "I love it." And then they, you know, so so. I mean, I had no. I, I, I had to say on what Diesel wore, hmm. you know. I always thought that like I've said it a million times, like the the Elvis comeback, that that the look, yeah, yeah. That, that you know, I just add, added some fringes to it um, because I thought that would create movement when when my body couldn't. Um, but uh, as far as when when they said. You know, you're gonna sing "We Wish You a Merry Christmas" to the fire. Mm -hmm. I was just like, and I, and, you know, and my whole thing was, this is Vince McMahon. So it's like, you know, Steinbrenner wants me to fucking be third base. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm a better first baseman, but Steinbrenner wants me on third. He knows, and then you get fucking eight months into it, and you're like, he doesn't. So would you advise for young talent to take the path of Scott, who said, Absolutely. I don't know about the Marine thing. Hear me out about this. Or do you just take what Steinbrenner gives you, do the Dusty, think, and be like, put me in polka dots, baby. I'm still going to be Dusty. Well, I, I think that what, I mean, there's a way to always handle that. I mean, as, as you get uh, longer in the tooth in this business, you learned that. You know, he said, he's like, yeah, I, 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 I like that, Sean. But remember that idea you had and you fucking just tell them what you want, but you make it their idea? So they can say, oh, that was Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we should do. And you go, oh, good, but I, I, I'm not I was with, I was with you on the first time you, 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 you threw that at me. Because, fuck, they talked to 50 guys. They're not going to remember fucking. I just like that one idea that you had where, you know, I bang all the broads and I win the belt. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So, so, but your stature, too, has a little, like you're talking about being a little long in the tooth in the business. So, so a guy like, I mean, Scott went to uh, Vince after he'd been in AWA and, you know, tagging with Kurt and everything. It wasn't like he was he was coming off as he was coming off a seventy five thousand dollar fucking guarantee as as the diamond stud. I mean, it wasn't mm -hmm. like, and we were getting dropped on our head by Big Josh. Mm -hmm. So true. 
Yeah, it wasn't like he was he was coming from a, a you know. How's Paul with that? Like some if some twenty five year old guy that they were bringing up from NXT, um, and they had an idea for him, and would he be cool with the guy going? Well, how about this? Well, see, the the thing was is like like you take the Steiner's kid, you know, Braun Breaker. Mm-hmm. You know, like how how is he not fucking you know, how is he not Bronson Rick Steiner, or Bronson Bronson Steiner? But that you know that wasn't Paul's fucking wasn't Paul's decision, you know. So, um, I always think that anybody that's second generation should be should you know have the lineage and be able to mm. to get the rub off of fucking their old man. I mean, they did it to Henning's kid. Yeah, you know. Unless they don't want to, maybe. Unless the kid wants to. I think I don't think I, I, don't, I don't think do the any Nicholas of it, Cage I, thing. I think that any I think all those 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 guys would would want that. I mean, you wouldn't. It was so weird they did they did it with Braun and then they brought Robbie in for some angles. Mm-hmm. That it was his father, right? Yeah, that's Which, true. That, that's bizarre. Yeah, that is yeah. bizarre. So, what the fuck do I know? I'm still worried about that fucking. Poison, fucking uh, the mist, the, right? Yeah, 